Now, I might have to put this up in two parts, depending on how long this video ends up being, because YouTube and Facebook don't really like anything that's too long. And I'm not even sure if my iMovie program will let me do more than 10 minutes without, like, starting a new little cycle. Which might be for the best, because then it'll be easy. Then I don't have any choice about where I edit it. It just is. Oh, this is getting gorgeous. What y'all think, huh? I look like a plucked chicken, don't I? That's kind of the point, ain't it? You know, I've been thinking about ugly a lot lately because my skin's been getting rougher. Now, I used to have skin as smooth as a baby's bottom. And I didn't start getting any wrinkles until like the last year or so, really. I mean, literally, my skin looked like I was still 20-something until very, very recently. And while I try not to think too much about that, I actually am a bit vain. I know you can't believe that, can you? Especially since I got hair in my armpits. I bet you can't believe that I'm vain. But I am. And I miss my beautiful skin. I mean, I st my skin's still pretty damn good for someone getting closer to 40 every day. But it ain't nothing like what it used to be. And I'm fatter than I was, which in our world is not considered beautiful. I'm fatter than I want to be, even. And I'm trying to lose weight, mainly for health reasons, because I'm going to tell you now, there's probably no way in hell. Oh my God, oh look how beautiful this is. I got the chicken look going on good. Whew, and I got hair all over my computer. Whew. All right, so I continue. If I was a different kind of preacher, if I was serious and new agey, I'd be quiet this whole time and I'll just take in the ritual. That's not really my style. Now, I might be quiet for moments, but I'm a talkative sort of type. And just because I'm talking through it don't mean my ritual ain't just as powerful, just as meaningful to me. as the one in which I'm silent and austere and and taking everything seriously. Get in the back of my head. It's actually kind of hard to shave the back of your own head. I'm probably going to have to have someone clean it up. But look how, look how pretty I am. Aren't I beautiful? Gorgeous even. Darling. So I highly recommend, maybe not doing it this style, you can get someone else to do it for you, but if you're ever feeling trapped by your looks, and you just can't deal anymore with all the crap and all the self-hate, shake your head. Oh, you might cry and feel really, really sad for a day or two when you look at yourself, because it's intense. I don't know that I'm going to cry this time, partially because I'm watching the whole time as I'm doing it as I recorded on this dang camera, but also maybe because I've gotten old enough that it just doesn't matter as much. See, that's one of the liberating things about getting older. It's not that you don't sometimes go, oh my God, I'm getting ugly. You do, which is part of the reason why I'm doing this. But you also sometimes realize that it frees you. Now, granted, sometimes I'm not seen the way I used to be, but some of that's... <laughs> really nice because I used to be heckled and harassed all the time. I mean, from the time I was like 16 to about 32, I, there probably wasn't a week that didn't get go by that I wasn't harassed by some dumbass man who thought I was prey. So one of the advantages of getting old is you're in some ways no longer prey, at least a particular type of prey. Now, as I get old, old, I'll probably become prey again because I'll be seen as weak and frail and people will be hoping to take advantage of me. But for now, I'm in that weird zone where I'm no longer youthfully beautiful and I'm not old age frail. And so my lack of beauty is sometimes liberating. I just don't worry about it as much. Now, I don't mean I don't worry any. I do. But I don't worry as much. I have other things to think about. 
I don't care as much about it all. I think that may be one reason why. Well, there's a little pause because I had a little technical difficulty because I went to brush my hand over the um, computer to get some hair out of the way and it stopped the damn video. And then I thought I started again and I hadn't. But that might be just as well. Because, well, it was just more of me babbling and shaving my head. Just more. What y'all think, huh? I got a cowlick back here. That oh look at that look at that it's like my little it's like my little oh look it's my little birdie my little birdie Cali. Anyways, I know I'm a weirdo, but so yeah, I want to fix that. I don't want none of that weird Krishna like long piece in the back crap. I want it to be all shaved. Well, that's good enough. I'm gonna have to get someone else to clean it up for me, I think. That's the one thing about shaving your head is you see where your hairline really is and what weird stuff it does. Oh, that's right. Come on, Calic. Oh, I can see a little bit there. Well, I think that's enough for now. I kind of made my point, didn't I? I'm going to have to have someone clean it up just a little bit because, well, it's got some little tufts in the back I can't get. But, what y'all think? Am I beautiful now? Or am I ugly? Or does it even matter? Does it even matter? Well, with that thought, I'll leave you. Take care and keep on keeping on.